So I would like to welcome in now the president of the L.A. Fleet Week Foundation, Mr. Jonathan Williams. Thank you so much for your time. So we know this is happening, you know, not just in one location. Talk about the purpose of Fleet Week, not only for the public, but also for the service members. Yeah, and thank you, Nicole. I, you know, it's uh, Captain Burkhart, which uh, you just interviewed, was uh, really talking about freedom of the seas and uh, the safe movement of trade and commerce. And I think this is an opportunity to connect to the, uh, the American public uh, to really bring awareness on what our sea services and our military does in uh, safeguarding our way of life here back in the U.S. So, you know, my regular job is working aboard the battleship Iowa. So year round, I, I'm in a fleet week and this is the culmination of a year round's worth of activities. And uh, our goal is to inspire global awareness of freedom of the seas. So here on the West Coast in L.A., we do it a little different than New York. Uh, we're covering about a thousand square miles in the L.A. region with over 100 different events that do neighborhood activations all the way up into the valley out into Orange County, where we directly impact over a quarter million people every single year. And this year, we're really excited to uh, welcome the USS Carl Vinson. America's favorite carrier to America's port, the Port of Los Angeles, in the city of Los Angeles that brings it all together. And that so is it's so going to awesome. be a great year, yeah. exciting event. And as you were saying that, uh, Jonathan, you know, we're looking at these images of the USS Carl Vinson images. We saw video there, you know, and it's just so awesome to see. Talk about some of the things that make this ship so impressive. Yeah, I mean, aircraft carriers, the easy, easiest thing I could say is we've all seen Top Gun or Top Gun Maverick. I mean, aircraft carriers are just cool. Almost 1,100 feet long, a little over 100,000 tons. One of the 11 aircraft carriers we have throughout the world. Uh, and it, it brings in carrier air wings, and it's really a sovereign piece of American uh, soil that, that's able to take an airfield anywhere across the world uh, and serve those needs for the, the world economy, really. Uh, and safeguarding uh, international trade and commerce and communications. So to be able to get an aircraft carrier like we see with the Carl Vinson is a rarity. 2013 uh, or 2011, actually, the Los Angeles hosted the USS Abraham Lincoln. So it's been 13 years since we've seen an aircraft carrier in Los Angeles. It's pretty rare for the general public to get an opportunity to see one of these large aircraft carriers, the largest in the world, up close and personal here in L.A. this week. They'll be able to see it Friday through uh, Monday this coming weekend. So it's going to be exciting to welcome the public to engage with those sailors. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so um, we know the Vincent is the headliner. People will be able to check it out. What else will they be able to learn about? I know you touched on it uh, a bit earlier. So uh, the Coast Guard cutter Terrell Horn will be here as well. Uh, so we'll have our Coast Guardsmen uh, out engaging with the public. But something that makes L.A. different, I, I get Fleet Week is a... Um, you know, is really about sea services, the word Fleet Week. But here in L.A., we bring in every branch of the military. And this year, we have every branch involved uh, here at our primary main expo footprint, which has almost 100 different exhibits that includes law enforcement, first responders, uh, different military branches, competitions. We have dodgeball. You know, there's nothing like a good dodgeball game. Uh, so we'll have a dodgeball tournament, and we're going to have military as talent, a competition, a talent show. Uh, and galley wars as well, where we're going to bring uh, culinary specialists competing against each other. And we're going to figure out what branch of the service is the headline. But really, remember, it's about connecting to the American public. As American public, we're taxpayers. We're paying, footing the bill to, to keep them out, uh, out of the head at that point in protecting our freedom. Uh, and this is an opportunity for the American public to meet them. It's an opportunity to build those relationships, network, and realize they're just like our brothers and sisters, our uncles and aunts, our mothers and fathers. So uh, it's an opportunity to really build that bridge and see uh, that they're Americans just like we are uh, as civilians, and we get an opportunity to build those bridges. Absolutely. And just really quickly, Jonathan, we know recruitment numbers are down in most of our military branches, but do events like Fleet Week kind of help chip away at that? Yeah, I believe, you know, on the public outreach side, if we look at events like Fleet Week, or we look at some of uh, even our museums across the nation, it's a great opportunity to be that touch point to the public. So, you know, I, I like to say, you know, somebody does not decide to join a branch of the service overnight when they turn 18 years old. There's a touch point that exists in their life, whether it's six years old, 10 years old, 14 years old, there's that touch point. 
that really started the thought process of, is this for me? There's nothing better working on a battleship year round and seeing these five, six, seven, eight year old kids come on board in just amazement. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.